What's going on YouTube? This your boy 4TC Merc back at it with another video here wishing that you all enjoyed y'all's holiday breaks and are off to a good start of the new year. To start this video off, I just want to give a big shout out to my boy JT. He's been going crazy with the videos lately. Please check him out. He got PS5 gameplays, 2K, COD. I'm going to push on him to get on him. Maybe a little ghost. I don't really know, but I just want y'all to make sure y'all checking in on him. Now, to begin. First off, I just want to apologize. I've been on a pretty long hiatus. Uh, like JT said, I've been moving into an apartment, so you know, <laughs> I had to cuss out some uh, some movers, but that's a whole another story. Anyways, I hope y'all also been able to, you know, kind of avoid and get on a game, avoid this little uh, election and, and, and all that cheese, bro. I don't know about y'all where y'all live, but I've been seeing a whole bunch of political uh, ads even since after the election of presidents. But anyways, I just wanted to say, um, me and JT have discovered a uh, fire team, Dirty Bomb. Uh, this game is crazy. Um, honestly, I'd say it's probably one of my favorite games. Really, um, in Call of Duty right now. Um, I mean, you know, Nuke Time gets kind of old. This is something that's pretty refreshing, and it ranks up the games really, really fast. As you can see, I'm in mean, shot right here. Really, she is. It's actually pretty cheesy, um, but it's fun. And they actually just came out with a two-person gameplay version of this game. Uh, if you don't want to go into four, it's gonna be with a random key. But anyways, I just wanted to say that also with Vikings, um, I kind of had the same issues uh, that JT had uh, in terms of just the game not being as interesting as, as the other Assassin's Creed's. Uh, as y'all know, I'm actually on the 2013 version of the Xbox One. Uh, so my game is a little bit, um, not even a little bit, it's pretty glitchy. Um, it's really hard to play at times. And you know, when you can't really have an enjoyable experience in terms of frame rate, frame rate and like gaming. It's just, it's just not really what you want. Uh, last, I just want to uh, acknowledge that from now on, I kind of want to uh, introduce Rocket League to the channel, um, in addition to Fire Team Dirty Bomb. So, with for, uh, without further ado, <laughs> I hope y'all uh, enjoy this game. So yeah, man, Fire Team Dirty Bomb. To start off, I'll just kind of explain how this game mode uh, plays. So basically you have 10 different squads. Uh, for the normal version of the game, you have 10 squads. There are four players on each squad. And on the duo version of the game, you have 10 squads as well, where there are um, 10 teams of two instead of four. I'll explain kind of the way that the two games, or excuse me, the two player game mode plays uh, in a little bit. But for now, let's just focus on the four team. So, uh, this game is kind of like a continuation of Warzone. Uh, as you can see, I believe the map is called Ruka. It's a very, very large map. And you spawn in, uh, as you can see, this is probably, that was one of the worst things I've ever experienced. But anyways, you spawn into the game, and you have all these other teams in these little, like, crates all across the map. Now, these crates uh, have what is called uranium in them. I don't really know uh, why the hell <laughs> Call of Duty chose uranium, but... They drop uranium all across the map, and you have to find these little crates. Now, you also have these little bomb sites where you're supposed to deposit the uranium into the bomb sites. Now, to deposit the uranium, you have to find one of the crates, empty the crate, and get the uranium into it. And then you have to find a bomb drop location. I believe there are five different ones, A site, B site, B site, and E site. You find one of these areas, and all you have to do is stand by. As you can see, I'm picking up uranium here. All I have to do is go over to the crate and just stand right by. It's a pretty quick uh, operation. It doesn't really take much, but it's cool. Now, there is one thing about this game mode that can be a little bit cheese. Uh, oftentimes, you will uh, join and your teammates might be kind of really bad. Um, you know, really, really, really bad. Uh, and your best bet here is to, you know, try and join a game, have one person with you. And, you know, when you find somebody the way me and JT kind of like rock and roll, you know, we kind of feed off of each other's energy and we're also able to get a whole lot of objectives. Now for Fire Team, Dirty Bomb Duos, however, uh, you have the 10 teams. Uh, and then each team, there's a combo. So you have two players for each team. Now, I will say, JT and I played this yesterday, and believe it or not, I would honestly say it was a little bit more um, vexing than the regular fire team. I would just say because 
Um, the thing about this game mode is like one, there are kill streaks that you can pull out of the boxes. You don't earn them, however, you can literally um, get a kill streak just from opening a uranium box, and it spans from spy plane to counter spy plane, napalm strike, precision airstrike, all the way to um, literally gunships, chopper gunners, and gunships. Now, when you have a team of four, and you know, like the squad wipe doesn't. Um, absolutely destroy everything that you're trying to happen because you have four people and you won't squat wipe that often like it's not a, that bad of a thing but when you have a duo team and other teams are getting like chopper gunners or gunships you know you can easily be squad wiped and you'll have to wait 12 seconds before respawning and literally just that 12 seconds um, can completely like stop you from like having any chance of winning the game just to get into it a little bit about squad wiping. So squad wipe is when um, you and your team, this honestly, also you see this. A squad wipe is when you and your team are completely all killed. Um, I mean, it's I mean it's the same thing as Warzone basically. However, um, you see how I'm re redeploying within five or six seconds of dying. When you get squad wiped in fours, you have to wait 20 whole seconds before your whole squad can shoot back into the map. In duos, you have to wait around 12 minutes. So, I mean, either way, it can put you at a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, I think in this game, we started off losing by about 50 or 60 points, but we were able to come back and win the game. However, um, it was not easy. Uh, you know, you have to have an emphasis on getting objectives done. So just to cover a little bit about objectives, um, there are two ways that you can play this game. And I found that you know, through probably about three or four or five hours of gameplay of both duos and quads of this game. If you are playing with just a friend, or if you're, let's just say you're not going in with a full squad, you're gonna come across people who are, you know, level 20, 30, have barely played the game, don't know what they're doing, <clears throat> could care less about depositing uranium, doing the objective. You're also gonna have people who, you know, might be like a level 200 or something and just want to come and help this game to uh, rank up their guns. Because this is a game that will heavily rank up your guns. They might join the game, go 30 and 5 and deposit no uranium. And just like that, you know, it was completely out you know, It didn't help at all, but it just kind of is what it is. Um, besides that, uh, you know, you can either... You can also have a good combo of gameplay. I think uh, JT and I had a pretty good one here, I think. Uh, we both went decently positive, and then I think we had combined like 55 or so deposits of uranium. Regardless, man, you just need to make sure that when you're playing this game, you have an idea of the way that you want to play and stick to it. If you want to win the game, you know, play objective-based, do that. You're going to have teammates who might want to play the other way. But you also need to try and find a way to feed off of what your team wants to do. So if you have plays, uh, you have players who just want to like, you know, run and gun. Okay, you need to be the person who objects, who is playing the objective, and try to get them to come with you to every bomb site. That's the biggest thing. If you can get somebody to come to a bomb site with you, you have a better chance of winning. You have a better chance of winning. You need more points because the more people around um, the bomb after you've deposited and primed it, and you're trying to detonate it, the more people around you detonating the bomb is what makes the bomb detonate faster. Okay, so if you're there and you're the only person trying to detonate, you know, you're not going to be able to detonate the bomb. Most likely you're going to die because you need people to cover you as well as people to help detonate fast. So you can see here, the bomb was detonated immediately because three of the guys were on the or excuse me, on the bomb site. That's just the way you're supposed to play. Oh, here's cheese, some cheese as well. Dirty bomb detonated. Well done. Zerep, local radiation level spiking. Hostile attack helicopter inbound.
Waiting for reinforcements. Last thing I'm gonna say to y'all is if anybody wants to join the squad with me, JT, 4TC crew, and it's quality at Fire Team Dirty Bomb, or really just quality at COD, we need you because 
right now when we join these little you know booty cheat games we're not able to get these dubs we got a, a, a pretty crazy dub the other day but anyways just want to let y'all know if y'all have anybody who want to join anybody who want to fuck with us please make sure to hit the channel up just hit up uh, send us a message comment whatever you want to do holler at us and we will get back to you so we can run the game anyways man keep it real keep it true this being boy 14 seat merc back at it again much love appreciation grace and mercy you feel me peace